We're less than 12 weeks from the midterm elections. Many pundits calling it a critical day for our future. But is the democratic process safe from cyber criminals? Arizona was reportedly a victim of election hacking in 2016. Reporter Gabriela Becerra shares how the nation and the state are taking precautions. The National Protection and Programs Directorate is an office within Homeland Security designed to protect the nation's physical and cyber infrastructure. Representative Martha McSally questioned Undersecretary Christopher Krebs about the reported hack and how this changes the security of the upcoming election. Just because it hasn't happened yet in 2018 doesn't mean it can't happen between now and Election Day, if they choose to, right? Threat equals capability plus intent. Representative Martha McSally says she has concerns about the detection and solutions for election hacking. Under Secretary of the National Protection and Programs Directorate, Christopher Krebs says they are looking at this issue as a whole, focusing on the entire country rather than just an individual state. Looking back at the, two, the specifics of 2016, but given our broader understanding of the IT environments that support elections, we are looking at, more broadly, where the vulnerabilities are just in the system in general and what are the things we can do to address those vulnerabilities broadly. Despite this, Krebs says they engage with Arizona and other states on a regular basis. I am continually impressed by the level of seriousness that secretaries of state and state election directors are paying to this issue. Uh, they want more information. They want more threat information. Mm -hmm. They want more information about how they can understand and manage their risk. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes says their office has as much on lockdown as possible and stays in communication with jurisdictions around the country to prevent potential threats. We work with local, state, and federal agencies consistently, and so um, we're, we're doing everything we can to... Uh, maintain the integrity of the system. Krebs says that when something goes wrong in an election, people assume that it's related to Russia, when in actuality it could be caused by a number of things. He also believes Arizona's issues were most likely not related to Russia. Gabriela Becerra, Cronkite News.